I didn't really have an impression of him. We showed up to do the pilot and suddenly I was brought on the set and we were doing the scene. I, I hardly had a chance to even digest what he looked like. I'd never met him until that moment when the camera was, you know, when they were putting the marks down on the floor and saying, this is your co-star, this is... Um, so I, I didn't, I, and he didn't relate to me at all, and, and nor I to him. We didn't talk to each other. We just did our scene and went home. And that was the last I saw of him. You know, there was a pilot. And uh, he was very involved because this was a big, big deal for Don. I was a supporting character. I wasn't really a co-star. And I, so I did my job, and that was the guy who was the star of the show. And I did my scenes with him, and I said my lines, and he was the character. And he said things to me, and I responded, and that was it. But Don was, not, it was totally separate from Max. And for a long time, I think that was true, that I related to, the, to his character, but Don and I didn't relate to each other. Not that we weren't totally polite, you know, and courteous to each other. Yeah, you know, he, he was just always very, very nice to me, and I to him. <laughs> but, um, but we didn't have any, any off-camera rapport for a long, long, long time. And as time went on, that improved somewhat, because I, I knew his wife, and you know, I knew he had a kid, and so there was a little something, and he was interested in history and poetry, and um, it, so I think at the end of the series, he, he became, you know, it was like I said at his, uh, at the, the memorial, that for a long time it was Don and Max, and then it was sort of Don Max, and then it was Don, <laughs> you know. So I think that was the evolution of our friendship, which at the end was very sweet and affectionate. Energy, energy, and it's that energy. I mean, I, that, that's the thing that comes to my mind. When some, and he infuses you with energy. The, the, the drive of that scene, of those scenes, the staccato of his personality would just <clears throat> make your heart go faster and you would just get up there and it's like, you know, it's like somebody, if you're playing tennis, you, they maybe lob the ball back to you, he just smashes it back and then you smash it back and then he's, and it's a wonderful, exhilarating game. I think that's, that is the thing I remember, the deliciousness of that. He, his timing, and that's all part of it, it was how he used that energy and the, the, the way you, you get in, it's like dancing with somebody, you know? And especially if you're the female partner in a dance, the male leads, right? Especially if you're doing Latino dances, the male really leads. But, but you're, it looks as though you're making those decisions for yourself at the same time he's making them. And that's what it's like to act with, Dan, with Don. Because you become so much one sort of one little dynamic, you know, emotion together that um, you don't know who's, who's driving it, but he was.